Hi guys, welcome back to our channel. If you are new here, please don't forget to subscribe. Today, we are going to rate some of the cafes and restaurants that we have been to in BGC. First on the list is Fat Seed Cafe in One Meridian along 27th Street. This restaurant is very colorful inside. I'm sure you could tell that I have taken a couple of photos here. So this is their al fresco dining area and this is how it looks inside. And my favorite drink as of the moment is the mango sunshine because it's so refreshing for the summer. Now let's talk about the food. We have tried the buttermilk chicken and ube waffles and the Portuguese casserole. Both are a huge hit for us. I've also been here with some of my friends and we've had the salad and the mango rum chicken and both are good. Um, the signature pork chop is surprisingly way too salty for my liking and the Louisiana hot wings are definitely a hit. We're giving the Fat Seed Cafe 8 out of 10. We still recommend it to other people and we would come back. Next is Nono's in High Street South Corporate Plaza along 26th Street. Here I am having some Filipino breakfast. This restaurant is usually free on the weekdays, but on the weekends, it gets really busy. So if you want to go here on the weekends, make sure to reserve a table. They also have a lot of cakes and pastries to choose from. I personally like the cheesecake and the San Srivel cake. I love how dainty and pretty it looks inside. Now let's talk about the food. The coffee is good, but the waffles are nothing amazing. I would prefer to go to Elephant Grounds for that. The next two are a hit, but choose the honey sriracha chicken instead. Thank me later. Now, these are my Filipino favorites and both are a hit, but prepare for some terrible garlic breath afterwards. <laughs> On my last birthday, we went here with my neighbors for brunch and we had a lovely experience. They even gave me a cake for my birthday. Aww. It was really sweet of them. I didn't expect that. And this is a San Srivel cake and it tastes really good. We're giving Nono's 9 out of 10. We would totally come back here and we recommend it to other people. Before we move on to the next restaurant, I just want to show you how warm it is in the Philippines right now. It is crazy. The heat of summer sunshine is here. Don't get me wrong, we are so grateful to be here. I just wanted to show you how it looks like in a country where summer never ends. Alright, so now let's move on to the next restaurant which is St. Louis in Bonifacio High Street. We have been to this place a couple of times and we've always had a pleasant experience. This is their al fresco dining area. I have a new favorite drink from St. Louis. It is the berry smoothie. It looks like this. If you want a healthier option, then opt for the orange carrot and ginger juice. This time around, Dominic tried the smoked salmon and cream cheese omelette while I had the pancakes with bacon. Both are a hit for us. Yeah! We are giving St. Louis 9 out of 10. After brunch, we went around to take some photos and we saw this really cool graffiti art around BGC. Next stop is Wildflower Cafe in Uptown. Let's all take a moment to appreciate my photos and Dominic's patience for taking them. This is how the Alfresco dining area looks like. They have so many yummy pastries to choose from. I personally love their cronuts. So I had the Wildflower breakfast which is basically composed of eggs, crispy potatoes, and homemade breakfast sausage. I also partnered it with this turmeric ginger ale. Dominic really liked the lasagna, although he finds the portions too small. The adobo fried rice is also a classic favorite, especially for my Filipino friends. We are giving Wildflower Cafe 9 out of 10. Now, let's move on to Mango Tree in High Street along 7th Avenue. We have been here so many times. Now, I gotta say our favorite Thai restaurant is People's Palace, but this is our second favorite in BGC and this is how it looks like from the inside. Now let's talk about the food. As you can see here, this is the Panang Curry. This is Dominic's favorite. And my favorite is the stir-fried chicken and holy basil. What's not in this video is the amount of rice that we ate together with this. The crab meat curry was such a hit. However, the pad thai with chicken was a miss. Now, if you still have room for dessert, make sure to try the mango sticky rice and you will not regret it. You better not forget to try their Thai milk tea. We are giving mango tree 9 out of 10. Next is Sunay Asian Cantina inside Juan Bonifacio High Street Mall. You know the drill. So let's talk about the food guys. The first time that we went here, both of the food that we ordered were good. I'm not even gonna attempt to pronounce it. 
This is how the restaurant looks like and this is my friend's order. This is quite a miss for her. Well, mine is a hit. The next ones are also a hit. What's not a hit are actually the drinks that I've tried. I think I've tried all of their fresh juices and I did not like any of it. We are giving Sune 8 out of 10. Now let's move on to La Picara in Juan Bonifacio High Street Mall. My girlfriends and I started going here because they had a really nice happy hour and we love their sangria. And this is how it looks like inside. They also give a complimentary patatas bravas. The interior is nice and the food is good, but I haven't actually really tried having dinner or lunch in here. We have usually just gone here for the happy hour and we had just some of the tapas. We also tried this dish and we were really surprised that it was just really worth a couple of tablespoons if we're being honest. I also want to add some of the waiters try to rush you out as soon as you're done eating because they have new customers coming in. We are giving La Picara 8 out of 10. Now let's proceed to Nikkei Nama Bar in Juan Bonifacio High Street Mall. Nikkei is in the same area where La Picara is as you can see at the background of my photo. And we usually come here when we want to have some drinks and we want to eat some sushi or other Japanese food. The service is quite slow in the evenings, especially when you are sad outside, but the food and drinks are good. We usually go for the Moscow Mule for the happy hour. We are giving Nikki 8 out of 10. Another sushi place that we like to go to with my friends is Oma in High Street. Our go-to orders are usually the hanger steak, the candy salad, and the crowd's favorite sushi. Everything's a hit. I like the food and service, however, if you dine inside, your clothes will definitely smell like food afterwards. We are giving Oma 8 out of 10. Let's go and try some German food in Broadside Restaurant at the ground floor of Shangri-La at the Fort. Last time we vlogged about really good German food in German Club Manila, but that one is in Makati and this one is in BGC. This is also a good restaurant for some German food and beer. The service is great, it's pretty quick, and we have been here a couple of times so we already know what to order. Now let's talk about the food. We usually order the pork sausages with mashed potato and sauerkraut. We also love the veal goulash with buttered spätzle. Currywurst is one of my sister's personal favorites and German food will not be complete without a schnitzel. The food portions are great and this is best shared with your family and friends. Aww. We are giving Broadside 9 out of 10. How about you guys? Have you tried any of these restaurants? How was your experience? Let me know in the comment section. Feel free to suggest other restaurants that you would like us to try. Thank you so much for watching guys. Don't forget to subscribe for our next vlog.